spirit of respect, reciprocity, and truth, we at Calgary Pride wish to honor and acknowledge Mokinsis and the traditional Treaty 7 territory and oral practices of the Blackfoot Confederacy, Siksika, Kainai, Ikani, and Yarhe Nakoda, and Sutina First Nations. We acknowledge that the territory we inhabit is home to the Métis Nation of Alberta, Region 3, within the historical Northwest Métis homeland. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, Calgary, and welcome back to another episode of Process. I am your host, the marvelous Moby Dick, and I use he, him pronouns, and I will be giving you this week's hottest community events, news, and pride FAQs. Happy Pony Friday, everybody. It's Elise and Pony from Pony Friday. Pony is wearing a Love Sparks toque, and we are donating $10 from every Love Sparks toque sold to Calgary Pride, along with a dollar from every Pride Pony and Ally Pony sticker pack directly to Calgary Pride. So you can support Pride by buying one of these sweet items or by donating directly at calgarypride.ca. Keep behaving boldly. All right, we're gonna dive down into a little history segment. You ready, kids? In 2009, Calgary Pride moved the parade from June to September long weekend and transitioned from a grassroots collective to an incorporated nonprofit society. Most people talk about why we moved Calgary Pride from June to September, and it wasn't because we didn't wanna celebrate in Pride Month. Of course we didn't. It was more because, have you seen the weather in June? It's unpredictable. Last year's Pride Festival was a huge success. It was sunny, gorgeous, and brilliant. We had a little bit of rain in the beginning, but that didn't put a damper on our spirits. Sure did it for the 100,000 people that showed up. All right, we're going to go into a little events segment. You ready to hear what's happening in our community this week? So the Calgary Ukrainian Festival is going to be hosting their first ever virtual festival. This festival will be happening on June 6th and 7th from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. This is CUF's 11th anniversary and nothing's going to stop them from connecting as a community and sharing their love of Ukrainian culture online. Some things that you can expect for CUF's weekend festival are lots of virtual performances, a physically distant kitchen dance party, food and drink specials, workshops, and online shopping from their incredible vendors. You can stay tuned on social media to hear all the latest announcements and updates on CUF's first ever virtual festival. All right, so a little international event for you. This one's hosted online out of Portland, and it's called Mom, I'm Gay. Can my friends sleep over? This online segment is hosted by Queer Ye, Queer Ye, a queer collective who focuses on comedy and building community together. This is Portland's premier queer improv team. Queer Ye, Queer Ye hosts an unchaperoned virtual sleepover of your dreams. This segment's gonna be featuring intimate storytelling, straight culture commentary, and queer theme spin-offs of your favorite sleepover games. Every Sunday, if spoons are available, burlesque performer, producer, and instructor, Belissima, provides anti-oppressive education on a variety of topics. She often draws from her experience as a queer Filipina and educator here in Alberta. You can check out Sunday School on B. Lissima's Instagram at B-E-A underscore Lissima, L-I-S-S-M-A, on Instagram every Sunday. Don't forget to tip. 
you can tip Bellissima at bellissimaburlesque at gmail.com. Next up is a community resource for men who are gay, bi, trans, queer, questioning, or who otherwise have sex with men. It's called Between Men. And you can meet them every other Wednesday online at 6 p.m. Together, we can work towards making a sense of our sexualities and genders. Together, we can realize our individual strengths and sort through the negative views of ourselves we've been picking up since we first realized we were different. With Between Men, you have a chance to share your experiences and your struggles in an open and caring environment. If this sounds like a resource for you, check out Outlet on Facebook and Instagram for more details on Between Men. Small dollar donations make pride happen. If you have the capacity or are willing to, host a fundraiser or donate to our PayPal right here. All right, folks. Well, that wraps up another episode of Pridecast. I want to say a huge thank you to Twisted Element, or should I say Twisted Pride Pub. Make sure you check them out and come enjoy a cocktail and a snack. They've got food trucks and hot dogs and drink specials and a whole nine yards. It's a hoot and good time. Your host next week is the very best. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, you can catch us every Friday at 4 p.m. MDT. We'll be streaming on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch. Linked here. I want to make sure you have a happy, safe, and celebratory Pride Month. Make sure you jump for joy and learn a little history. Take care. Is that too gay?